everyone i hope all of you are doing great i am roshni from lano hub the free learning platform where you get to study everything about maths and science absolutely for free at learnhub.com and we upload new videos every day so stay tuned so today's agenda is to talk about weather climate and adaptations class 7 science and this video is the fourth video and the last video of this video series so in this video we are going to take up a lot of important as well as interesting questions so let's get started question number 1 name the elements that determine the weather of a place now as i have mentioned before also that weather is not just one thing it is like a lot of factors and how are all these parameters behaving at a particular place that will define the weather of that place for a particular day so the important elements are temperature if the temperature is very high it is hot if the temperature is very low then the weather is cold rainfall too much of rain if the weather is kind of rainy humidity the amount of moisture that is present in the environment and normally the humidity is high before and after rainfall wind speed so with what speed wind is blowing now sometimes it is like extreme high speed so that weather is again not a very pleasant weather to be in clouds so whether it's a cloudy day or not depends on the presence or absence of clouds question number 2 when are the maximum and minimum temperatures likely to occur during the day now as you see maximum temperature happens in the afternoon because as i said this variation of temperature during throughout the day happens due to the rotation of the earth now as the earth rotates different parts of it get uh, exposed to the sun at different intervals of time so it's somewhere during the afternoon maximum amount of heat reaches from the sun to the earth and therefore the temperature is maximum during this time whereas minimum temperature is observed early in the morning so that that's the time when the temperature is at it at the least question number 3 fill in the blanks the average weather taken over a long time is called so that is climate and that is how climate is different from weather so weather is always about a, on a daily basis so it changes on daily basis so when we talk about environmental conditions of a particular day we are talking about weather but when we talk about the average weather over maybe 20 25 years so that's the climate of that place a place receives very little rainfall and the temperature is high throughout the year the climate of that place will be dash and dash very little rainfall so if there is not much rainfall so there is not much water so the place is going to be dry with little rainfall and when you say the temperature is very high that will make the place quite hot right so that place the climate of that place is going to be dry and hot now when you say that climate of the place will be dry and hot that doesn't mean that every day that the weather of that place will be hot and dry it might rain some day but when you take an average over a long period of time you find that most of the time it doesn't rain much so overall there is very little rainfall and therefore the place is dry and hot the two regions of the earth with extreme climatic conditions are which are the two regions the polar regions and the equatorial regions so the regions near the poles and the regions near the equator because near the poles as i said now if you look at the location of the poles and the equator you see the temperature has to be different in the two areas that's because the poles are not much exposed to the heat of the sun they are like to the at the extreme corners so therefore it is very cold extremely cold near the poles whereas near the equator it is moderately hot and that's why india is located quite near to the equator and therefore it's moderately hot in in india so the regions which are located near the poles they are called the polar regions and the regions which are located near the equator they are called tropical regions question number 4 indicate the type of climate of the following areas 
Jammu and Kashmir. So when you say climate, it's like the overall weather, normally how the weather should be. So however, if you want to give the accurate value of climate, you actually need to study the weather patterns for the last 10-15 years. Only then you should be able to answer this. But since we are all aware of the kind of weather which prevails in these parts of the country, so we should be able to answer it. So when I say Jammu and Kashmir, it is moderately hot and moderately wet so there is not too much of rainfall again there is not too much of heat so summers are not that hot so it's like moderate hot and moderate wet kerala so kerala has a lot of rainfall during the rainy season and again the heat is also quite a bit so it is hot and wet talk about rajasthan it is definitely going to be dry because there is not much rainfall and it is hot because the temperatures really go quite high. Northeast India, so Northeast India where you have Manipur uh, and uh, the Northeastern states, so Ar Arunachal Pradesh, so there you have heavy rainfall, so obviously they are going to be the wet states. Question number five, which of the two changes frequently, weather or climate? Now, when you talk about weather, weather is something which is short term. So, uh, on daily basis, weather keeps changing. In fact, in the same day also, the weather, the temperature, the elements of weather changes. Temperature might change in, in one day itself. Temperature might change in a couple of hours. Rainfall might change, correct? But when you talk about climate, it is over a long period of time. So, looking at the weather patterns over a long period of time, you decide the climate of that place. So, if you ask which changes more frequently, yes. Yes, definitely weather changes more frequently. So weather changes more frequently than climate. Question number six. Following are some of the characteristics of animals. So following are some of the characteristics of animals. So here you can see the list of characters. For each characteristic indicate whether it is adaptation for tropical rainforests or polar regions. Okay, so we have to decide that which particular feature will be good for rainforests and which will be good for polar regions. Now before that, let us quickly see what what is the climate for rainforests. So tropical rainforests, they are generally hot, whereas in case of polar regions, they are going to be extremely cold. So knowing the climate, you can decide that which features will suit for that climate, right? So let's look at the first one. It is diets heavy on fruits so if an animal is feeding on fruits if they are like totally dependent on fruits so where will they get fruits on the trees and trees will be available more in forests so this is a adaptation for tropical rainforests next one is white fur so white fur is some fur is something which is going to provide lot of warmth so obviously these animals will be better for cold regions and also this white color will match with the white background of snow and that means it will help to protect from predators so this is an adaptation for polar regions third need to migrate so migration generally happens where in regions which have very extreme weather conditions which is true for polar regions because polar regions are very very cold so many a times the birds they uh, move from that polar region to some other region until favorable conditions return fourth one loud voice so this is a feature for the rainforests so in rainforests, you see a lot of animals, they all communicate with each other. So they produce sound. So loud voice is a characteristic of animals in rainforests. Sticky pads on feet. So sticky pads on feet. How do, how, how do you think will this help the animals which are either on uh, rainforests or they are on the polar regions? Where do you think this would help? So this would again help animals in the rainforests. Layer of fat under the skin. So fat provides insulation. It helps to keep an animal warm. So this is an adaptation for polar regions. Wide and large paws. So these wide and large paws, they actually help to move or to walk on snow. So this is again an adaptation for polar regions. Bright colors. So bright colors help to camouflage. So they can actually hide themselves in the background color. 
so since due to blending with the background color it helps them to catch their prey easily and also protect themselves from predators so this is tropical rainforest strong tails so strong tails help in climbing it also help to make directions so this is also for tropical rainforests long and large beak so beak is used for eating stuffs like birds have beaks and birds they are mostly seen in these rainforests so where they eat other organisms so long and large beak would be another trait for uh, tropical rainforests so do you think some of these characteristics can be adapted for both regions not really because if you compare these two regions they have two extreme climates one is like extremely hot the other one is extremely cold so we really do not think that any of these characteristics can be adapted for both the regions question number 7 the tropical rainforest has a large population in animals explain why it is so so why so many animals live in tropical rainforest obviously the primary reason is due to favorable climate so what is the favorable climate i mean what do i mean when i say favorable climatic conditions so the weather is hot and humid now surviving in extreme cold weather is a tough task so you need a lot of adaptations to be able to survive there but when the weather is hot and humid it's like it's easier to adapt to that moreover since a lot of animals live there so they can get their food from each other frequent rainfall so frequent rainfall would uh, ensure adequacy of water so when you have lot of water around you so the survival definitely becomes easier question number 8 why do we find animals of certain kind living in particular climatic conditions so why is it it is something like why is it that the polar bear is seen only in polar regions why are fishes seen only in water and not on land why are the tigers seen only in the forests and not in the polar regions so why different animals are like ruling different regions that's because animals are adapted in special ways to inhabit specific areas depend on its climatic conditions now each area will have a specific climatic condition for example the polar regions which are extremely cold so these polar bears they are adapted with certain features for example they thick fur a layer of fat under their skin so they have wide paws so all these things help them to walk over snow to uh, to keep themselves warm so that means they are like kind of adapted to live in that particular environment so because of this reason every animal so it is not only about the polar bears it is also about other animals for example fishes they have gills so since they have gills they can absorb oxygen from water so they need water all around so they have a streamlined body they have fins and tails which help them to swim so they need water they will not be able to survive on land so that means every organism is equipped in such a way that they will be able to survive in a particular type of climatic condition so wherever they get that particular climatic condition they live in that area question number 9 a carnivore with stripes on its body moves very fast while catching its prey it is likely to be found in polar regions deserts oceans tropical rainforests so obviously the last one is the right option a carnivore with stripes on its body so you can imagine a cheetah or a leopard so it moves very fast to catch its prey so with stripes on its body so stripes on the body helps it to blend with the background color so that ways it is found in tropical rainforests question number 10 which features adapt polar bears to live in extremely cold climate so some of the options are given here and which of these actually help the polar bears to live in cold conditions white fur yes because the white color blends with the white background of snow fat below the skin yes because it provides insulation and warmth keen sense of smell yes again because because of this strong smelling sense they are able to detect and catch their prey so first option is the right option question number 11 which option best describes a tropical region hot and humid moderate temperature heavy rainfall cold and humid hot and dry so when we talk about tropical region they are located near the equator so they are definitely not cold they are definitely not having heavy rainfall so they are hot and humid 
so they do have rainfall and they also have i mean the very high temperatures so due to rainfall they have kind of humid atmosphere and due to high temperatures they are hot so hot and humid and that is why they are more suitable for a lot of animals and therefore a lot of animals live in the tropical regions I hope you found the video useful and if you really understood the concept well do write in the comment section that concept who are crystal clear and I will see you all very soon with a new topic and a new video till then take care bye bye